Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today, working on a Toshiba satellite here. And I'm going to show you how to uh, perform a BIOS reset on this computer. A BIOS reset involves removing the CMOS battery off of the motherboard, leaving it out for a little bit, and then putting it back in, which will reset your BIOS to factory settings. Um, so to start with, I'm going to flip this computer over, and we're going to get inside of it. So I'm going to start by removing all of the screws off of the bottom case. So the two main reasons why you would want to do a BIOS reset is either uh, for some reason you are working in BIOS and you want to reset it to factory settings. Um, in which case after you do this, make sure to go into your BIOS settings and change your system date and time. Because after you do this reset, those will be wrong. And if you don't correct those, uh, BIOS may have a very hard time starting up. So make sure you do that. Also, if you're doing this procedure in an attempt to fix your computer from not starting, uh, make sure you try my other video first. The, uh, it's in the description down below where my computer won't start. Try that video first. If that doesn't work and your computer's still not starting, then come back here and try this video. That first video in the description is a little less invasive than this BIOS reset. So after I've removed all the screws that I can see, uh, I'm going to slide out my DVD drive here. Uh, keep in mind, oftentimes, uh, laptops will hide screws under the DVD drive, which is not the case here, so I don't have to, to worry about it, but it's good to know on, on, on yours. Um, also, if you have a removable battery, um, check underneath your battery. Sometimes they hide screws there as well, which again, they have it here. And then the last place they hide screws sometimes is under the rubber feet. You usually have about four rubber feet. Check those as well. I know they don't have that on this model, but uh, don't just assume they don't on yours. I'm going to go around with my small flat metal pry tool. I'm going to pry the bottom case off the palm rest. There we go. Alright, so there's the inside of your computer. I'm going to zoom in on the CMOS battery, what we're, what we're looking at today. Okay, so here's your CMOS battery. Looks like a large watch battery. And it's usually held inside a cradle like this. Or you could see it another way. Sometimes they're wrapped in black electrical tape and they're plugged into the motherboard uh, by a port. Uh, something that looks kind of like... Um, uh, you don't have any of them here, but sometimes they, uh, they, they plug into the motherboard and, and you have to unplug them. But in this case, we're going to have to physically remove it from the motherboard, so be careful with this part. It's, there's two springs in here, one on the bottom, right, right around here, and then one back here. So I'm going to push the CMOS battery in this way so that it can pop up after it gets released from these clamps. So let me see if I can do that here for you. There we go. So be careful when you're doing that. This part of the cradle is pretty fragile. If you break that, the CMOS battery cannot be secured in here when you put it back. Um, and then your motherboard's kind of broken at that point. You can solder a new one on. Uh, sometimes you can wrap it in electrical tape to make it stay, but those are not ideal uh, ways of repairing this. So be very careful. So now to do a BIOS reset fully, you would leave this out for 15, 20 minutes, and then you would simply insert it back in. And uh, that is your BIOS reset. So again, if you were here because uh, you were trying to attempt to reset BIOS to factory settings, you, you have done that. Now make sure to go uh, back in there and set your date and time. Don't forget that. And then if you're here because your computer wasn't starting, uh, if your computer still doesn't start after the, at, at this point, even after the BIOS reset, at this point you'll want to go down in the description and find the video link on testing your charger and testing your power jack. That would be the next step in the troubleshooting process if this didn't help your computer to turn on. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, please like and share. If you have any questions, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description. If you don't see one, send me a message. I'll get back to you a couple times a day at least. And uh, subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. Thanks, guys.